Hey everyone, today I'm going to be showing you uh, the gist of uh, how to hook up this 30 amp sub panel. For You could do it for like a shed, a tree house, whatever. Um, so you're going to get you know, something like this. You can either get like an indoor or an outdoor one. This is an indoor one. Um, it's got two circuits, two spaces for two circuits. First off, when you, when you do get something like this, You'll notice right here, sold, purchased separately, the circuit breaker and ground bar kit. Okay, so you never you want to make sure you buy circuit breakers, obviously, and then the ground bar kit, and it gives you the number right here. So when you are at whatever hardware store you're at, it'll usually have the same um, the same thing here in that area. This square D, this has a square D ground bar kit has the same number there so you want to look for the same number if whatever sub panel you buy it'll have something like this so you make sure you get that and I installed that it had a hole already so I just screwed basically just screw that um, grounding bar in right there okay already did that so 30 amp panel requires 10 3 wire um, so I'm running it from a sub panel, so a sub panel to a sub panel basically. I have a 100 amp sub panel right here and a 30 amp double pole breaker right here. Um, and I'm going to be running this um, to my 30 amp uh, sub panel. So 30 amp requires 10 to wire. Now, this is 12, two, sorry, 10, three wire. This is 10, three, sorry, 12, three. This is 12, three. It requires a 10, three. Um, this is just an example. This should be what it looks like. It'll, it'll be a heavier gauge wire. It'll be 10, this is 12, but it'll have the four. When it says three, that means it has three wires and then the ground. So, um, so when you hook this up, you're gonna be hooking, uh, just kinda wanted to show you here. You're going to be hooking up your two hots, which is the black and the red. You'll be hooking those into the these two parts of the, the 30 amp breaker. Then you'll be bringing your uh, ground here to a grounding bar. There's a couple on this one. And then the, um, the neutral, you'll be bringing that up to your neutral bar over here. So that will, that will get you all, all four of your wires hooked up here. And then you'll run the wire blah, 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 to your sub panel. And you'll have it, you know, coming through the top or whatever like this. And once again, um, so you'll get your wires here. Your um, two hots, the, the red and the black, they'll be going into these. It doesn't matter which one. Your white, your neutral, will go into your neutral bar over here. And then the ground will come over here and go into your grounding bar here. And then um, you'll be ready to go. You'll have the, the power there. And then you can get these breakers. These are the square D breakers. They're a little bit different looking. Um, most people aren't really used to these. I don't think I wasn't. But it has like a little metal clasp here and the metal here instead of kind of a, a lot of breakers. You'll see they'll have like a groove in the in the back and it'll clip in there but these square D ones are like this but I mean they work the same that this this metal part here just fits in over clips in over this plastic part and then this metal part goes around that there so it just kind of clicks in so you push it on there you can't really see through my hand can you neither can I so you click it in on one side kind of push down right hand here so kind of want to just push down on it oh. and I got to push down kind of hard so okay so it clip, clips in there and then it's kind of loose there but it'll, it'll rotate on that thing and then you just push down and push it onto the, the bar there sorry I'm trying to get you an angle and see I guess it's kind of self-explanatory though so you want to line it up with the bar and then see how those little things, and then they go over that bar that you push down. So 
that's like there we go snaps down over it and it wiggles a little bit but it's not too bad it's definitely hooked in there and there you go so that's how you run a you know sub panel um, to a sub panel so that's a 100 amp sub panel there and it's run into a 30 amp sub panel here so I'm just gonna put in I have two circuits to what I'm wanting to run and um, yeah you uh, then obviously you run uh, your hot your neutral and your uh, well you'll probably have like a, a 12 2 wire that you want to hook up for your circuits in your shed your treehouse whatever outdoor you know whatever you're trying to do so um, that's that's pretty much it folks um, yeah thanks for watching hope that helped definitely um, would have helped me if someone would have thrown this together and show me how to do some of the stuff so I didn't have to make several trips back to the local hardware store so um, good luck out there with your projects thanks for watching catch you next time